and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another dum -dum. Dum -dum. Woo -hoo -hoo. I am so excited because Dan Dan decided to grace us with his charming presence in a fucking fedora. Please <laughs> leave a comment. One comment is one fedora that Dan Dan will wear. For every comment about your fedora, will you wear a fedora for that day? Oh, for sure. So if there's 365 comments, you gotta wear a fedora for a year. No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm just trying to hide my pimple, guys. <laughs> Honestly. We literally put the fedora on him and he goes, ow, ow, ow. And we're like, what? My pimple sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's what we're doing today. Today we're also making our favorite ramen from the Bis Market. Yes, it's still up. We're going back, okay? But we also have a ton of McDonald's. We have Big Mac, spicy fried mm. chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, fries, apple pies, strawberry and cream pies. And I just want to announce my favorite ramen. I chose mine. This is the kimchi. Kimchi ramen. Oh yeah. Oh. And I chose yeah. this new one that I've never had before. Ooh. It's the Purda Tampon. A tampon. It's tempo, gonna be a tampon. Uh, seafood. Yes. Seafood. Okay, and wait. then we're gonna throw in uh, shin ramen too. And then I put my toppings on top or in the middle? In the back. <gasps> what? It's too it's big? Because it's circular. You guys want to break it and make it into a square? I don't know if it's gonna be square, but I think it won't fit. Hold on. Oh, oh geometry. To geography. Geography. <laughs> oh my god. It's also round. Oh, it's Wait, shit, thank I thought goodness that was a square. Small. Oh, it fits, it fits. It nice. fits, it fits. So we just have a couple leftovers, but I can munch on these. No, I can't because I have freaking Invisalign. Guys, I have the fanciest. I'm gonna put all of my kimchi. Also, can I just say I think my kimchi one is expired. What? I thought kimchi never expired. Yeah. Uh, best before November 13, 2022. Oh, I think we'll be okay. That's it's like, like two a weeks. month, yeah. But oh, we should yeah, be we're okay. Good. We're good. We're okay. And then the next vlog, we all are we're dying all of this poisoning. Not all of it. And then we we'll die of um, <laughs> sodium. Sodium, <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. So um, I just have a question. Do you guys ever feel like this? Because I feel like this all the freaking time, which is do you ever feel like cars are deceiving? Cars are so freaking deceiving. Cars? Being in a car, because think about the logic behind being in a car. You think that it feels private. You're the only one in the car. You're driving alone. You're vibing out to your music. You're doing this. You're doing that, right? The wind is in your hair. But the minute that you get at a red light and I'm looking through my shirt, looking for something new, or maybe I'm looking in my nose, digging for gold, suddenly I'm weird and the person next to me is probably posting me on TikTok as we speak. Like, why do we just all assume that cars are a private place? It's not. Where we just think we can be as weird as we can possibly be and that is how I feel about using my computer and my phone. It feels so private. I'm like, it's the internet. It's my private place where I can watch videos incognito, talk to my friends, do all that normal stuff. But it feels deceivingly private, keyword, deceivingly, because that's not how it works. If someone really wanted to, they can easily see everything that you're doing on all your devices, which is why I refuse to use my devices without ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. In other words, it makes sure no one else can sneak a peek at what you're doing. And I'm not even doing anything crazy. I am not hacking into the White House. I'm logging into bank accounts, work emails. I'm not sitting there doing some crazy stuff. But even then, we should all be careful. Anytime you connect to an unencrypted Wi-Fi network, like all the airports, hotels, coffee shops, or even at home, you're at risk without a VPN. A hacker connects to the same unencrypted Wi-Fi network can steal your personal information and with only basic knowledge, they can gain access to your passwords, financial details, even emails. ExpressVPN protects you from those hackers by encrypting your network data and they do it really well. They've got servers in 94 different countries so you can change your location to nearly any country in the world. And the fun part is that means you can watch whatever you want. You're like, what? Okay, so Netflix in the US has different movies from Netflix in Korea or Netflix in India or Netflix in France. So just by changing your location with the same network, Netflix login, you can access all new movies and shows. So find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash bis or clicking the link in the description. Make sure to check out expressvpn.com slash bis or click the link in the description below. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. <gasps> what is that? Look oh. at these king, the king crab. crab. Okay, so these are imitation crab sticks, but they're mm. imitation king crab sticks. Oh you know God. how the imitation crabs are like this then? They're thick. These are thick chody They're boys. Thick. <laughs> yeah. That's the thickest thing I ever. That's so thick. Is but it Dan Dan? Yes. Is it now Dan Dan? Is it now Dan Dan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is it now? Can we hit a chicken nugget please? Yeah, chicken nugget, yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Wow, beautiful. Okay. 
잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. Can we start? Wow, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna let's go try. for my. Wait, do we need to mix the broth first? No, just mix it okay, like okay. this. Alright, let's try it. I'm gonna go for my kimchi. Which oh. one are you guys going for? I'm going with jampong. I have a feeling they're all gonna taste the same though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my god. OMG. This is what I've been waiting for. It's been so long. It's been like, what, a week? Mm hmm. It's been a week too long. How is wow. it? Wow. Are you kidding me? It's perfect too because mm. it's so cold outside. And it's just. Oh, okay, mm. these are the thick noodles. I'm gonna get some with cheese. Wow. wow. Oh my god, my cheese is just Okay, I'm gonna out. throw some more onions inside. Oh my yeah. god, I'm not trying to. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. Wow. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is like the new thing. Just like throw every different ramen together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna get like the most unique flavor ramen that you, will ne you can never buy anywhere. Yes! But it's, it's so, so different, good. but it's so good. Kimchi's it always works. Mm -hmm. Is this like the trend? This is a trend we came up with. Mm -hmm. Dang, innovative. Thank you. It was during quarantine. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of weird came out during mm -hmm. quarantine. Mm -hmm. This is the wow. nuclear corner, guys. I feel right good. Here, the nuclear corner. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh man, should we try the spice? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? It's so good. Oh, it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that the new trend? Oh my god. Chicken now nugget in ramen? Oh my god. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. Can I grab a glove from you? Oh my gosh. Are you we know nasty? What I want to try? Mm. Are we nasty for this? Are Maybe. we disgusting? Mm -mm. Okay, this is fries, noodles, and cheese. Okay, it's just fried now. <laughs> Where's my cheese? Wow. <laughs> okay, fries, noodles, and cheese. Can you turn it down? It's so dull. It's so hot, I cannot exist. Oh my goodness. Wow. Nobody's touching the burger, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we will, we will. Okay. So, my question is, Yeah. can you guys tell when someone's an asshole? Uh, are you an asshole? <laughs> it depends, I mean, you know, there are some like very mm -hmm. obvious ones. How do you say it, like indirect? Indirect assholes. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so, if your friend is being an asshole, yeah. are you like, this is my bro? I'm gonna side with him. Or do you just tell him, hey, dude, I don't know, you're being an asshole. Uh, I tell him. Like, not to you, but he's like, I got into a fight with my girlfriend. I mean, I wouldn't mind telling him. Mm -hmm. Like, we're just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Is there you? a lot of assholes mm -hmm. in your friend group? There's some. There's some? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's some. So today's story is Dan Dan sharing his the story. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm making a Big Mac taco. I saw someone do this where they separate the Big Macs. The top of it? Oh my god. Okay, what? What? Bro. You should dip it. Mm. Mm. Is this weird no. if I just add noodles in here? We're ranking am I the assholes. Do you guys have a rank for assholes? What is the ranking? What's well, the ranking? What, what are the options like? Let's say there's four tiers of assholes. Top tier, you need to go to jail. You're not just an asshole. You're literally the scum of the earth. You should go punch yourself in the face. Everybody hates you. That's like top tier, okay? Okay. Then the second tier is like, ooh, that's so bad. Like everyone's gonna be talking shit about you. Like your friends are gonna be talking shit about you. Everyone knows you're an asshole, okay? Everybody knows that he fucked you, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then the third rank is like, ooh, you're kind of an ass, but maybe, maybe I understand why you did that. Um, and then the fourth tier is you're not an Asshole. An angel. Yeah, not an angel, but you're not an asshole. Okay. So, what do you think is like top tier asshole level shit? Like, what does someone have to do to be the top tier level asshole? Like jail? Yeah, like ew, you're so bad. I will remember this forever. Backstabbing. Mm. Backstabbing. Yeah. This is hard. Yeah, probably uh, some sort of ruining someone's life. 
and mm. not think about the consequences. Yes. Oh. Like forever yes. ruining someone's life. That's pretty good. Or like putting your own comfort above literal people's lives. Mm. What about, about you? you? I don't think so. I feel like there's a lot. Right now, I can't think of any. Number one. Sophie. Like someone, <laughs> someone take a piece of your clothing and then get it dirty. Mm. Mm. That's me. <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> like my hat. Like, like my, my favorite. favorite I'll try like my favorite. I'll try my best. Yeah. Okay, so I think the top tier is ruining someone's entire life. I think the second tier is like cheating, betrayal, like you know your asshole stuff. Mm -hmm. The third tier is like Sophie tier. Like I don't know if you're an asshole. It's just like I, I guess I can kind of see why you did it, but like come on now, you're kind of dumb. Okay. You're kind of dumb, Sophie. <laughs> kind of dumb, Sophie. So am I the asshole? Shall we start? And this is my first time reading them too, so we can we can all rejoice together. We can all freak out together. Am I the asshole for telling my mother-in-law I want to fuck her son? What? But imagine your future girlfriend tells your mom that she wants to fuck you. <laughs> like imagine that conversation. What would your mom do? Yeah. She'll be so shocked. Shock of happiness or shock of? Shock of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> she was waiting for that moment. Yeah. He's like, she's like, finally. Finally, I'm gonna get a grandchild. Oh my God. D did that ever happen? I don't know. I think if you told my mom, she would be really uncomfortable. Bro, that's so I weird. Your mom. Yeah, and then I would be really uncomfortable. Now, if you told my dad, <laughs> I would literally go jump off the roof of our house right now. <laughs> I, I don't think that I could survive you telling my dad. Mm-mm. Wow. Oh wow. my god. So good. I think my mom will tell me like to break up. Mm-hmm. ASAP. Yeah. I mean I just wanna know in what kind of situation is this okay? Yeah. Okay. None. Mm-hmm. So you're saying the, the person who said that is an asshole then? Because mm. she's asking, Am I the asshole for telling my mother in law that I wanna f the son? So you're saying they're an asshole, right? I guess a little disre disrespectful. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see if it changes it. Okay. Oh, you the full story. So my, I'm 28 year old female, husband, 31 year old male, had to spend two months in a different state for work. He came back nine days ago and I'm obviously thrilled that he's back and I've missed him a lot. I was hoping that we would be able to spend some time just together, just the two of us, one on one. However, his mom, 56 year old female, came over when he was supposed to come home. I was slightly annoyed, but I know that she was just excited for her son to be back. However, she never left. Like, I was prepared to deal with her being there for a day or two, but no, nine days. Because she's been here for nine days, we haven't had a second of time together. She insists on staying here instead of a hotel. For the record, she lives an hour away. The guest room is right next to ours and the walls are paper thin. When the two of us go out, she comes out with us or makes one of us stay with her because otherwise we would be quote, bad host. She follows us around the house constantly. We wanna cuddle and watch movies and she's sitting in the armchair. We wanna go to a romantic restaurant, better make that a table for three. We have even left her in the living room to go chat in our room and she will follow us. Earlier today, I just asked her to leave. Even though both of us have been hinting at her that she needs to go, she kept saying she wasn't ready to go yet and wanted more time with her son. I tried telling her we wanted some time alone and she kept insisting that she join us. Finally, I snapped and I said, since you seem to be oblivious, I will put this bluntly. I wanna fuck your son. If you don't wanna see that or hear us, then you need to leave. I know this is not the classiest response ever, but I was so frustrated. Anyway, she yelled at me, but she eventually left. We finally got to have our alone time, but now she's blowing up both our phones. She's saying that I'm a disgusting person and I have no respect for her or her son or even myself. And she keeps telling my husband that he shouldn't be with someone so crude. And how dare he let me speak to her like that? I'm sure you get the idea. I know what I said was really inappropriate. So am I the asshole? Now mm. that I hear it, the full story. Yeah. I think it was reasonable. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they just want, you know, good cuddle, cuddling time. He's like, never sacrifice a, the alone time. Right. And it's been a while. <laughs> okay. So it makes sense. Hmm. Okay. And the mom is following them around like. Yeah. That's weird. It's weird. It's weird and it's like, it can get a little annoying. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense. So you say asshole. No, not the asshole. It's oh, not the asshole. angelic. Mm. Angelic, he said. <laughs> angelic. <laughs> That's an angel for telling her that. <laughs> yes. She's an angel. Because if she didn't, mm -hmm. 
mom would stay, still stay. It shouldn't have been her who said it. Because mm -hmm. I would never say anything to your mom because I, I would make you say it to your mom. I agree. And he would never say anything to my mom because I would say no. it to my mom first, yeah. So that makes me wonder why yeah. hasn't done anything. I don't know. She did say that they were leaving hints, right? No, at some point you just yeah. gotta go. <laughs> you just gotta tell your mom, like, mom, get out. Please. <laughs> my house. Go home. <laughs> Dang. How would you tell your mom to go home? Imagine she's right in front of you. If I'm at that point <laughs> yeah. where she's just still staying, yeah, and, and you're we ready. gave hints, yeah, mm -hmm. then I'll just I have to like kind of with a little bit slightly angrier tone, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? Why is the mom like that? I think she's obsessed with her son. I think she wants to date her son, and she doesn't want yeah. she doesn't want the 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 daughter. I don't think she actually wants to f her son. <laughs> I think she's. You know, I think most moms are like this. A lot of moms out there are scary like this. They want to be emotionally with their son. So no, she no, no. is doing it on purpose. I feel like it you know? because yeah. yeah, most mother-in-laws, if they know that you haven't been together in a really long time, even no matter how much they want to be with their kid, my parents would be like, okay, I love you guys. I really don't want to go, but like, yeah, spend time together. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? It's just weird. Like no kind of normal mom does that. And that's the thing. If you know you're not wanted, who really stays? Who wants to feel unwanted? I would feel so uncomfortable. No matter how much I want to be with my son right now because I missed him, I would have to leave. Yeah. I would have to be like, obviously. Ninchi. Yeah, you guys don't want me here. She had an edit. After reading these comments, I will definitely let my husband know that he needs to step up. I agree that it should have been him who made her leave. I love him to death and I want to be accommodating to his fear of making her angry. Listen, she's <sighs> nasty when she's angry and will turn his whole family against him. However, he needs to set boundaries. So true. Yes. I rank this one not an asshole. Yeah. yeah. The one of the comments said, crass? Yes. Polish? No. Why don't you and your husband have any boundaries with this woman? You're both adults letting her treat you like naughty teenagers. She can Oof. insist on staying with you all she wants. It's your house and your choice and she, who stays there and if you don't want her there, then tell her no. And why is she staying indefinitely instead of this being pre-planned and everyone knows arrival and departure dates? Which is, I thought it was weird that she only lives like an hour away. Yeah, she could have gone home and come back Every the next night, day. Yeah, an hour is not that long of a Why'd drive. Why she stay then for nine days? Yeah. I think she's trying to... Do something. Not like do or trying to not let them spend time together. Yeah. Like she is doing that on purpose. That's so annoying. Because it's weird. An so hour. So she is the asshole. Yeah. The mom. If I have to be somewhere or I can drive home in two hours, I'd rather drive home in two hours because nobody likes packing their skincare, living mm -hmm. in a guest room. Like you'd rather just drive home. The, this commenter just pointed out. How do you feel about how the mom is blowing up both their phones? Do you guys think that's okay? The mom's blowing up both yeah. their phones? Yeah. Like, spamming, spamming? Yeah, because she's mad. So she's, you remember at the end, she's mm. just calling both their phones. What would you guys do if your mom is blowing up your wife's phone and your phone and she's pissed? <laughs> Is this a trick question? Oh, <laughs> um, what would you do? I don't know, because I already read it. But I mean, if she, like, 20, like, crazy spam, mm -hmm. then the, I, I kind of have to, like, I feel like I will have to step argue up. Argue back. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it gets annoying. You I know? just manage the situation, mm -hmm. manage her. The comment said, your husband should be telling his mom not to talk to his wife like that, like blowing up her phone. So then if your future wife and your mother-in-law doesn't get along, don't see eye to eye to, to certain things. Okay. Nothing like crazy, just whose side are you on? And I love her. I hope so. <laughs> okay, how about this? What? I they don't see one. eye to eye, and they don't really like each other. And you know, it's tension. They're not fighting, but they don't like each other. Okay. Now, there's a situation, and you think your mom is right, logically speaking. Mm. Logically speaking, you think your wife is being weird. Okay, so what logically, my mom's right. But or at least in your perspective, yes. You would side with your mom. You're like, you know, I feel like my mom's right on this one, but yeah. how do you handle well, it? How about the wife one? <sighs> What you think your about? wife is kind of wrong on this. Like in this situation, you're like, ugh, I feel like my wife is wrong. What do you do? I like it. Said it then. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. What do you do? Can you teach me? First of all, <laughs> okay, one thing I learned. Okay. Your wife is always right. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's rule number one. Rule number two is don't forget rule number one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, personally, I think my mom and my wife shouldn't have like a conflict because I will manage my mother. Mm -hmm. So if my mother has a problem with my wife, it's always all, almost have a problem with me. Mm. So I see it as a unit. So I, mm -hmm. I will want me and my wife to make the decision. Every decision we make or we want to do, first of all, we should be on the same page. 
And now if my mom feels like, let's say, you know, a lot of times like parents think like you don't train, you're, you're not teaching your kids the yeah. way that they want to be. Yeah. Mm. And they're like, why is your, your wife, oh, yeah. why is my oh, daughter, yeah, yeah. yes, my daughter-in-law yeah. doing this and that. So I'm like, no, that's something we decided. That's, mm. so I, I, I kind of see it like that. Okay. I, I feel like a lot of time guys need to step up. Is so, how I see it. you want to get married tomorrow? Because that was hot. <laughs> oh, I'm going to follow that, your steps. Yeah, is that what's Thank going you. on? <laughs> is it the ramen? Ooh, it's your fedora. Oh. Oh, you're sweating too. I'm just kidding. Hey, your hat might be wet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I really agree. Man, so good. Let me see your crop stick. <laughs> oh, okay. as thick as that? <laughs> Thicker. Oh. <laughs> so anyways, another comment said, your mother-in-law was purposely doing this to prevent you guys from having alone time. There was another one similar to this story on here, and the mother finally confessed that's exactly what she was doing. She was coming to sit and talk to them at bedtime so that they wouldn't be able to have sex. That's what the mother-in-law was doing. First off, you don't show up unannounced for an unlimited visit and then refuse to go home when asked. You don't follow people around like a piece of cling wrap. You don't say you'll go with them when they say that they want alone time. She knows exactly what she's doing and she's hoping to cause an argument. Your husband needs to do something as it's his mother and she's way overstayed her welcome. I'm a 24-year-old female and my boyfriend is a 28-year-old male, is really protective over his furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Over his furniture. Wait, hold on. Over Wait, his... <laughs> it's kind of similar. <laughs> similar to who? Me? No, 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 no. For me? It's both of us. And then we've gotten so much better because now Sophie comes over and just jumps from yeah. furniture to furniture. And we're like, let it go, let it be. <laughs> let it go, let it be. There's no way to stop her. <laughs> I assume it's because they're white. What? <laughs> what? Oh, the furniture is white. Oh. <laughs> you thought the, the, the boyfriend is white? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Because I remember like when I used to grow up, we didn't have like the <laughs> coolest furniture, but my white friends always had the coolest furniture. I agree. Yeah, they always had like really cool furniture, like cloud couch vibe. They didn't have cloud couches back in the day, but that kind of vibe. And their light thing? Yeah. The light bulbs? Mm -hmm. So shiny and pretty. Yeah. This really shows when I'm on my period. My boyfriend does humiliating things like placing sheets on all the chairs and lounges. I feel like if I were to leak, I would just leak through the sheets anyway. What? He makes me sleep in the guest bedroom on the first two days of my period, my heaviest days. And then... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> bro. Bro, bro. bro. How is she dealing with him, bro? Bro, do you know how many white pieces of furniture I've leaked on? Bro, bro. We had these bar stools in our LA place. That's why they're gone now. It's Remember red. the white? <laughs> yeah, they're all like, yeah. <laughs> Stephanie has claimed the territory. <laughs> no, because, no, it's not even when I'm on my period. I'd be sitting there having a jolly good time oh, we in spill my a shorts. Lot too. And then I would just be like, oh my God, I peed myself or something. Uh -huh. And I look and it's blood. And then immediately I get a Clorox and I start wiping it. And then it just Those spreads everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and now the whole chair is pink. Oh. At least it's not red. You know what happened though? I was like, okay, well, I don't really know what to do with these chairs anymore. And my mom's like, yeah, you need to throw them away. I'm like, I don't want to throw them away. It was all a ploy. It was a mind trick. What? They played games on me. Because my sister was like, yeah, you should throw them away. Here, I'll throw them away for you, essentially. They got it professionally cleaned, brand new. What? <laughs> and now they're in my sister's house. Really? Yeah. So next time you get blood on your furniture for other suspicious reasons, like, I don't know, homicide, uh, go to a professional cleaner. Okay. Maybe you should start dating a professional carpet cleaner or furniture cleaner now in advance. That's premeditation. Ooh. And then he even asked me about when the last time I changed my tampon was. I'm a grown woman who has, her, who has had her period since the age of 12. I don't need somebody to remind me when to change a tampon. When he does this, I just, I feel embarrassed and it gives me the vibe that he cares more about materialist ops, materialistic objects than me. I'm not even allowed to cuddle him during my period. He <laughs> <laughs> Yo, imagine. Oh my god. <laughs> he acts like I'm just gushing like a waterfall or something. I started my period yesterday and as expected, the sheets come out. I decide to put my foot down and take all the sheets off the furniture, which got my boyfriend irritated, to which I told him that he needs to stop treating me like a leaking juice box. <laughs> He's saying that I have no right to prevent him from keeping his expensive, expensive furniture clean and that I'm the one acting like a jerk. I need to know, am I the asshole? <laughs> wow. Bro. Wow, wow, That's wow. Like really extreme. You already know my answer to this.
your boyfriend's the ultimate asshole. I'm talking <laughs> jail asshole. Listen. I've never heard such thing in my yeah, life. Yeah. It's crazy. And I wonder if it's because our family is so full of girls, you know? Mm -hmm. But anytime I see a guy that's terrified of period blood, I think it's weird. I'm like, it's just blood. It's just Yeah, blood. it's just blood. Like, I get it if you are scared of blood in general. That's fine. No. Okay, but also, I get strangers' period blood is scary. Mm -hmm. Because strangers' blood in general is scary. You don't know what they have in their blood. Mm -hmm. But it, like, your significant other, it's no. literally just blood. It's so weird. He's acting like it's carrying some plague in there. Like, the black plague is coming <laughs> out of her vagina. <laughs> like she's giving birth to Satan every time she's menstruating. It's weird. <laughs> it's bizarre. That's not even a being yeah. an so that's like Yeah. I don't even know. It's weird. It's so weird. Cause most boyfriends, like when you're on your period, they're like nice to you, you know? They're more yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, because they're wanna, stressed, right? Yeah. yeah. They're worried. They're like, are you okay? Do you need some water? You do you want, want a heat pad? Yeah, do you want chocolate? And then he's like, You need to go sleep over there. <laughs> Yeah, that's the craziest part. <laughs> like, like sleeping on the yeah. guest room. Yeah, that's crazy. And then putting dog pads like where she sits. How is she dealing with that? You know what's so funny though? What's mm. so funny is I do that. He doesn't guest do room? it. But I no, I won't go to the guest room, but I will put um a towel where I sleep and I will put sometimes I will put a towel on our white chairs before I sit. Because mm. I <laughs> leak everywhere. Okay, she's really good, but I leak everywhere. Wow. You don't leak everywhere. You make it sound like I don't, I don't water leak everywhere. Leaking juice juice box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't leak everywhere, but I think I'm traumatized. Yeah, I mean it, hap it happens once in a while. Very it's once fine. in a while, and it's so traumatizing to me because I'll really love a piece of furniture and then I'll ruin it. But um yeah, it's weird. She said, just out of curiosity, does he have any redeeming qualities besides owning furniture he cares about? So she said this because everyone was ripping him to shreds in the comments, like they were ripping him a new asshole. Yeah. The comment asked if he has other redeeming qualities. Like, is this guy just utter shit, guys? Is that what's <laughs> happening right now? I'm guessing this... <laughs> Someone commented, I'm guessing the sex is out of this planet phenomenal because I doubt he has any great intellectual abilities. <laughs> I once had a guy reacting with ill when I said I was on my period. Needless to say, I threw him out of my bedroom. Guys who are this squeamish about periods are never good in bed. <laughs> That's so true. If you're that squeamish about periods, because you got to do some real weird shit during, you know, during adult playtime. Especially if you've been together for a long time, because after, you know, nine years, you hit that three year mark. You're like, let's explore other dimensions. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. Like, is he eating the booty out like groceries? I don't think so. He's scared of period blood. You think that he's down with fecal matter? Potential whoa, fecal whoa, matter? Whoa, honey. <laughs> Potential fecal oh, matter? Whoa. Sorry. This is actually quite disturbing behavior. He's treating OP like a dog in heat. It makes me wonder about his personality and views towards women in general. For his screwed up reasoning to work, he'd have to ask any woman that comes over on the, to, their, to his house if they're having their period. Wow. I don't think this is about furniture. Wow, but some people... <gasps> what, what, what? I thought this commenter agreed with him. Oh, come on, that's a little harsh. A man's home is his castle, and this poor man is understandably threatened by his girlfriend's uterus. His castle is under siege sin since OP has the nerve to carry out regular bodily functions in his home. Wow, uh, they think that he just sees women as a walking vessel of hormones and bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he better have the same standards for his bodily fluids. Yeah. Like, he better be so f***ing terrified of his own ejaculation. I want him to scream in terror every time he ejaculates. He's like, oh, not on the furniture! <laughs> <laughs> not on the couch! <laughs> Not like, the before they do it, do they cover every piece of furniture Ew. and the walls? Because, you know, that thing can go like 20 miles an hour. Mine goes 100 miles. <laughs> Guys, help me! Am I the asshole for making a post about my daughter's favorite celebrity being rude to us? Oh, this is juicy. What? Okay, so you know how people will post about celebrities meeting them in person and they're so freaking rude? Mm -hmm. Well, this mom posted about meeting the daughter's favorite celebrity mm -hmm. and then posted about how this celebrity was rude and now her daughter seems mad. Okay. You know the story? Well, let's see. My daughter and I were recently on vacation. We spent the day in an area that's known to have a lot of rich and famous people and towards the end of the day, we saw one of my, my daughter's favorite celebrities, we'll call her A, walking out of a store. My daughter ran to the store, 
But when she got near A, she was stopped by A's security. They said that A's there with her daughter and for her daughter's birthday and wants to focus on her daughter. My daughter was very upset because she's been a fan of A for a very long time, so she tried again for a picture but was turned away. My daughter was so crushed, so later that night I made a post talking about my experience with A, how she wouldn't let anyone go near her and her daughter, the fact that her security was rude and her not being willing to stop for a couple minutes for a picture. I understand it's her daughter's birthday, but a one minute interaction with a fan isn't going to ruin her day. And if it does, that girl needs to learn that the world doesn't revolve around her. Jeez. So you're already f***ing on the celebrity's daughter, but saying your daughter was fine when none of the kids did anything wrong. That's weird to yeah. me, no? <laughs> the post ended up getting a lot of attention and a lot of people actually said my daughter and I were being entitled for expecting A to interrupt her daughter's birthday for everyone that wants a picture. My husband also saw the post and said he couldn't believe that I could bash her for trying to spend the day with her daughter. I'm not trying to bash her for spending the day with her daughter, but she wouldn't be where she is without her fans, so I think she at least owes it to them to take a picture. Am I the asshole for making a post about A? What? What is that logic? <sighs> like, does that... Does Wouldn't that... Sh so, mm -hmm. so she's saying that the celebrity has to take a picture with them. Yeah, that's weird. Then what about every single person wants the, a picture? Yeah, okay. So if it was, obviously I don't relate to this celebrity, but sometimes I do get requests for pictures, right? If it was my birthday, I would take pictures, but I'm trying to think if it was like Sophie's birthday, and Sophie is like right there and she's like talking and she's like, I want to do this, like, and she feels uncomfortable, I would decline because it's like, this child's birthday, you know? This child is gonna be, remember this forever and be traumatized or something. So I think it's weird. And the do fact that she has a kid. Do you think celebrity has the right to decline photos? Yeah. Yeah. Um why not? Okay, I'm if on they the... don't they don't dress like they're like you know, sometimes they're but... not like putting makeup, they're wearing like they look like they just rent ten miles and stuff. Okay, see, this is where I don't know because I'm not a celebrity. I'm like a an F grade influencer, right? <laughs> so with my F grade influencer knowledge where I run into a few people if I go out, in New York especially. I would never go out you and like decline it. pictures. Even if I go out looking like shit, I will take a picture because like I'm outside. Right, right, so right. I feel like I sure. owe it to them. Like I'm outside, we ran into yeah. each other and I want to give you like a memory if it means something well, to I'm you. I'm saying right? like if you run into a celebrity and they're like, no, I'm sorry. Oh no, I don't feel offended at all. If they're rude, I would feel offended. Like if they no. look at you and they're like, ugh. Then I'd be like, oh, oh. no, but if they're like, for sure, for oh, sure. I'm so sorry, like, not today. Yeah. Then I'd yeah. be like, oh, yeah, totally, like, yeah. sorry. I would feel bad for asking. M maybe they're not feeling great. Yeah. Or, or something. Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. You know? Yeah. And then for me, it's like different because I'm sure these people have like 20 million people following them everywhere. So, yeah. like, imagine not even being able to go to the grocery store and not have like a line of people yeah. wanting to take a picture with you. Yeah. I can't imagine like how stressful that is. Yeah, I don't think it's weird at all. Yeah. Or rude. I, I mean, I think so too. It's yeah. like, just feel like a lot of time, yeah. you know, they want their picture to look good, right? Yeah. But I don't know. And then I feel like for me, I would still be so happy. I'd go home and I'd be like, oh my God, guess who I ran into today? You know, even if I didn't get a picture, it's so weird. Yeah, yeah. but she's mad. And I don't like the way that she's talking about the celebrity's daughter. See, see what's funny about, yeah, the thing is yeah. like, she's saying my daughter just want mm -hmm. a photo. Meanwhile, she's trying to spend time with her, her daughter. daughter. Mm. So it's like, okay, then you get it, right? She just want some daughter time. <laughs> so maybe she, the, mo the mom is the entitled one. Yeah, like it yeah. just feels like she should know out of everyone because exactly. she's also a fellow mom. So and, and maybe this would be more of a mistake from like a single person who doesn't have a mom. Even then I feel like it's weird, but yeah. weird. Okay, the comments. Kind of the lesson I'm thinking you and your daughter need to learn to be honest. You're the <laughs> asshole. OP, celebrities and famous people are just people who have the same rights and privacy as all of us non-celebrity non people do. I will never understand why people get so bent out of shape on a reaction from one of them as rude when they literally don't owe us or anyone else a single thing. They have jobs like we do. Like the way she declined was also so nice. I would understand if she was like really f***ing mean about it, but the way she declined was more than nice. Yeah, and like, her argument doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah, and you know, she didn't need to even give a reason why she's not taking pictures, but like, her daughter's birthday, that's a really good reason. Mm -hmm. It's like not even yeah. a stupid, like, I just don't feel like it, which you can totally give that reason too. I just think it's weird. What do you guys think? Weird. Asshole. 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 <laughs> and it's weird that she posted that thinking that people were gonna shit on the celebrity and not her. <laughs> it's weird, <laughs> Ooh, no? no reverse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think people who post on this sub, I'm like, no one has told you that you're an asshole because like there's no way that you posted this being like, wait, am I the asshole, guys? Because I feel like you posted it thinking everyone's gonna validate you. But you're the asshole, dude.
My, I'm a 25 year old female, husband, and two friends, all 25, peed in the hot tub when I was sitting in it with them last night. Ew, I feel so disrespected and grossed out, but he keeps saying, you're making way too big of a deal of this. Last night, we did a small friends Friendsgiving at my husband's parents' house, who were out of town. It was mainly centered around his boyhood social circle, most of whom still have family that live in the neighborhood. So like, your hometown friends. After we got done eating, a few of us decided that it'd be nice to relax in the hot tub and look at the lights of the city. We had been in maybe five minutes and my husband said, Everybody ready? His two friends gave a thumbs up, and in succession they said, Done, 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 done. <laughs> what the? My husband's friend, Sashim, had said done last, and they all start laughing, and the other two said, okay, we'll buy the next round. It was an obvious inside joke, so I asked what they meant, and they started laughing and explaining the hot tub pee game that they had been playing since they were like five years old. I wanted, to, <laughs> I wanted to throw up, and I asked if they seriously all just peed in the hot tub. My husband said yes, and it's no big deal. I was disgusted, so I got out, took an hour-long shower, and went to sleep in his sister's old bedroom, and decided I didn't want to talk to him until today. Today, I feel like I calmly approached him and I tried to explain how dirty he made me feel, how unsanitary it was, and how while I appreciate that he has these long running rituals with his friends, Thank he you. needs to stop the ones that would make him laugh in middle school and for certain, leave me out of them. All he keeps telling me is, relax, you're making a way too big deal out of this. I am sick of hearing his excuses for this disgusting and childish behavior. How do I approach him to make him appreciate? I need him to never do this again. Okay, then what do you think? Because sometimes, when I'm in a hot tub, yeah. I, go, I go in, right? Mm -hmm. I sometimes drink the water. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. By accident. Like <laughs> accident. You go all oh. yeah. So imagine if there's three peas. Five peas. Five peas? Five peas. Bro, I'm dead then. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even think it's the pee. Yeah, it's not about it's the pee. It's not the pee. It's... Because think about it this way. Well, okay, you're a dude. It's the mental. Not giving. Yeah. Not thinking about other. Yeah. It's person. well, okay, it is the pee too, because that would gross yeah. me out. And she did take a, an hour long shower, so it is the pee, but. But it's also like yeah. the consent, I feel like, too. Like, she has no idea. Like, that's yeah. messed up. Also, I feel like if you are letting your childhood best friends pee effectively on me, do you really respect me? <laughs> do they really respect me? Does anyone here really respect me? Okay, I, I would understand more if it was just you and me in the hot tub. And you were like, I peed. I would still run out. I'd be like, ew, ew, what's well, wrong with you? Yeah, but I'd be like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? And then you're like, I couldn't hold it in. I don't know what just happened. Then I'd be like, okay, okay, like, ew, fine. But the fact that all her, like, the friends were there, that's weird. It's disregarding of her. Yeah. And also later he was like, what did he say? Not oh, a big deal? It's not a big deal. You're making a way too then big then deal. Another, another survival <laughs> skill. Never tell a girl to calm down. Yeah. Never tell her it's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. One time uh, we got into live? a huge fight. Just don't say that. <laughs> One time we got into a huge fight because I was talking about something uh -huh. and he looks at me so casually because he thought it was a casual conversation. I, on the other hand, I was riled up. Oh, uh, my shit. energy was here, okay? He didn't get the hints and he thought it was casual and he goes, yeah, it's not that deep. <laughs> Yo, how are you uh, alive? Like my HP went from this to this. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. So. The minute he said, I don't know, it's not that deep. Oh, it's over. Oh my God. Okay, it was okay. like a screaming death match. Oh, and for like five minutes, he didn't understand. He was like, wait, I don't get it. I just, I thought it wasn't that deep. And so I said, I don't know, it's not that deep. <laughs> and I didn't even say it rudely. I was just saying, I don't know, it's not that deep. Okay, okay. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So keep your mouth shut? Yeah. And it was about nothing okay. as serious as getting peed on by five dudes. <laughs> so I don't know how he thought that was okay to say. It. It's not a big deal. Okay, the comments are, tell him it's fine to play his childhood game with willing participants. It's not fine to do with someone else who is there who has no idea what they're in for. Well, I'm feeling better about being single. <laughs> oh. No, 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 this is our comments. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's an update. I posted about this on Friday morning. We spent all Friday fighting about how not only was it disrespectful, but that he even refused to acknowledge my issues with literally being peed on. Around 10 p.m., I told him that if he said, you're making a way too big deal out of this, one more time, I was going to file for divorce. Oh my god, it's her husband. I don't know why in my head I thought it was a boyfriend. It's a husband? Yeah. He said it was almost like he was daring me. Did it happen? No, no, no. She said that if you say this, if one you say time. it's not the big deal one more time, then I'm going to divorce you. Yeah. So he said, oh, you're like daring me yeah. to do that, to right? To say it. Oh. 
So he's like standing his ground and like ready to fight. Yeah. Very prideful. Yeah. Very prideful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what happened? I think they got divorced. Too long, don't read. My mom and I are going to talk to an attorney today. My dad is a partner in his accounting firm, and he thinks that since we are young and we don't really have much, the divorce should be very quick and simple. <gasps> My husband has tried to call has tried to call God knows how many times to apologize and saying he gets it now, but it's way too late for that. It was too late for that even when he and his friends did the initial act. I have more self-respect than that. Well, I think it had less to do with the peeing and more to do with dismissing how you feel about it. He kept saying it's not a big deal, but he could have just been apologetic and understanding from the start. That's true. Okay, I still think it's a big red flag, but I think if he was like, I'm so sorry, like I got yes. caught up with the guys and I just, I was so excited to be with them again and it just like, I didn't even think about it. I guess to us it was so normal. Like if he had given a random, not a random, but a more well thought out apology, maybe. Yeah. So that's how you get divorced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the OP said, when I approached him on yeah. Friday and he said, I'm so sorry, that was so rude. I'll never do this again. I could have easily gotten past this. She agreed, yeah. But she wouldn't have gotten a divorce. I wouldn't say like a jail, but mm. right above jail. What, what is right that? above jail. Worse hell. Than hell. <laughs> hell, he's going to hell. Okay. <laughs> you going to hell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would say jail. Because pee is like a bodily fluid. It, it, it's weird. Pee is also kind of like a... I know that pee in the kink world can be used as like a power play. So just <clears throat> to have five dudes pee on me and giggle about it, and my husband is giggling too, I would be so, so offended. <laughs> I don't think I could get over it, no? So I, 27-year-old female, am getting married to my fiancé, 27-year-old male, in a little under three weeks. Everything has been going amazing with the planning, and I'm ecstatic for the day. My best friend Cassie, whom I've been friends with since we were 10 years old, is my maid of honor. She is truly one of the sweetest people that I have ever met, and has stuck with me through everything. She's been the biggest help in planning this whole wedding, and I wouldn't trade her for the world. However, I've never been the biggest fan of her girlfriend, Sophie. Oh no. I always show her respect, I try to include her in things, but she's a huge introvert and sometimes it can come off as disrespectful in return. In Cassie's own words, that's what Cassie told me. But they always seem to be very happy together, so I hope she warms up to me in a little time. They've only been together for like a year, a little over a year and a half. Well, several days ago, Sophie approached me asking me if I'd be okay if she proposed during my reception. What? That's a little rude. Yeah. Bro. She claimed it would be a great way for Cassie and I to bond more, having our weddings linked and all of that. Not that we need any more time to bond, she's already my other half. I love Cassie to death, but I'd never allow that for anyone. I shut the idea down immediately and Sophie got all pissy with me and left. She said something along the lines of, I don't need your permission anyway, and she walked out the door. This made me fearful that she'd attempt it anyway, so I went to Cassie. Needless to say, Cassie was mad. I never really see her get angry, but she was livid. She, prof she apologized profusely and said she couldn't believe Sophie would ever think of doing something like that, and that was the end of our conversation. However, two days ago, I got another call from Sophie berating me for spoiling her plan to propose and was informed that Cassie would be attending the wedding by herself and is currently not speaking to her. I was concerned that that wasn't the entire story, and so I called Cassie. She was a mess said that she was staying with her parents right now and disinvited Sophie as her plus one because she was scared Sophie would have proposed anyway, given the chance, and she didn't want to ruin my day. I told her to come stay with me for a while instead, and she showed up several hours later, still a complete mess. She said that her and Sophie had a huge fight, and she was reconsidering whether or not she wanted to even stay in the relationship. According to Cassie, these huge fights are a common occurrence. I feel awful for ruining the proposal and potentially ruining her relationship, Cassie has been picking herself up in front of me and continuing to do great. And with the last minute to do's, she's been doing great, but I've caught her crying while I'm not around. I love her and I don't want her to resent me for this. So I need to know, am I the asshole? Is there anything I can do to fix this? No. I think she did Cassie a big favor by showing Sophie's true, true color. Yeah. Because right? reception is all about their yeah. time and of their... Of course, mm -hmm. it's the most important like, time of their right. life. It's, it's supposed to be their time, but yeah. they, the other girl yeah. wants They're... to take that shine. Yeah, exactly. In a way. Yeah, there you go then, then. Yeah, it's weird. You think it's cool? Yes. Me too. And why even ask? Like, if you're going to get mad, if someone is going to say no, don't even ask. Yeah, like, you know like, What's the point shouldn't. of asking then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true because I wouldn't even put them in that uncomfortable position to have to say no, no if they feel bad at yeah. saying no. But then once they say no, it's like, then she should get it. Sophie should get it. Yeah. This is why they say no. Then she should learn her lesson and move on. But instead, she gets pissed. That's a red flag. And 
red flag that she's willing to destroy her relationship with Cassie and Cassie's relationship with mm -hmm. the main OP. Like your proposal will never be remembered fondly then. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and also like she start fighting with Cassie mm -hmm. even though she wanted to propose to her. Yeah. Isn't that the love of your life? Mm -hmm. Why are you fighting her now because she doesn't want to get proposed on this day? It's so weird. I Do you think it's a money thing? Oh, like I heard cheaper a lot of people... to propose? That way? It could be. Because it feels meaningful, the environment is already beautiful and romantic. Mm, possible. Yeah, because proposals, fucking expensive. Yeah, but the fact that she gets so pissy, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's weird. Edit. I went to Cassie with all your comments and she broke down. We had a long moment in where Cassie finally told me how Sophie really treated her, and she never previously did, because she didn't want people to hate her girlfriend. I won't share details for Cassie's privacy, but needless to say, I no longer respect Sophie. I held her hand as she called Sophie to finally end things. People are saying, sounds like you inadvertently did her a huge favor. Oh, some people said it sounds like Sophie was going for a public proposal so that Cassie would have to say yes. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. Yikes. Oh, oh, yeah. Peer pressure? Makes sense now. Yeah, oh, oh, I didn't even think of that. But what if she said no? That'd be funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I the asshole for bringing my sister-in-law's wallet to the restaurant when she conveniently always forgets it? Oh, this one's good. I'm a 28-year-old female. Sister-in-law, Amy, 26-year-old female, always comes to visit us from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel, and she always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or comes up with some excuse as to why she can't pay her share. She has implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time they come into town. Nonetheless, in the past, I've just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back. She never has. She had made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night, and before we left, I made it clear that I wouldn't be paying her bill. This is where I might be the asshole, and I'll admit I've got... I've got this move straight from an episode of Two and a Half Men. As we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting right on top of her suitcase. I put it she in my purse. She f***ing leave the- uh -huh. Oh my god! She, left, she leaves the her wallet- The sister-in-law left her own wallet at home. So that when she gets there, she'll be like, Oh my god, guys, I forgot my wallet. What the f- I have one friend like that. Yeah. No, you do? <gasps> Not anymore. Really? Like, no. How do you forget? How many times? Like, like every time. <laughs> oh, bro. Bro. Come on now. We know have you heard of Apple Pay? I mean, they would, they would, they would always, uh, you know. Venmo? Yeah, yeah, but it's still like, how do you forget every time? But mm -hmm. they Venmo every time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, then they're good. They just maybe you really forgetful. Okay. No, I don't know. I don't like Venmo. But still, it's just like, how do yeah. you forget every time? My uh, sister and I had this whole conversation about Venmoing. We hate when people have to Venmo us because we are non-confrontational. So we don't like asking people for the Venmo. Mm. Or no, if it's pays back, though. really, but if it's like twenty-eight dollars, I feel bad asking for twenty-eight dollars and sixty-two cents because it's so weird to have such a <laughs> exact. It's almost like I'm sitting there calculating it and I'm never gonna forget it, you know. Uh. So then I'm like, okay, just give me twenty-five, you know. And then at that point, I'm like, just don't give it to me. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, my sister is the same way. We hate it. So I like it when people actually bring their wallets if it's a splitting the situation type of deal. My I first, also think like yes. it's even it's better for you to just make it clear from the beginning like my treat. Like yeah. today's my treat or your treat. Like instead of like someone forget their, their wallet, yeah. it's like technically I treat you for the dinner, but that only happened because you forgot your wallet. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a shitty feeling. I'd rather treat you yes. and then you say thanks for the meal rather than, oh, I forgot my wallet. I'll yeah, it feels more like an experience, yeah, like very fun, good, exactly. good, loving energy. Yeah, right. so true. I put it in my purse and we went to the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills and she said, no, we need one bill because she forgot her wallet again. I reached in my purse and I said, this wallet? <laughs> <laughs> she was extremely furious. She said that I should not have touched or grabbed her wallet. So am I the asshole for taking her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant? Bro, I need to know what happened after. Oh. I need to know. Oh I my wish God. I'm, I'm a fly on the wall at that moment. Oh, oh that's God. so good. Of course. She's <sighs> not an asshole. Yeah. What was that one confession we read of they were going back into the restaurant and she saw the friend taking the tip? Mm. That reminds me of that. Remember? Oh my god, were you there? One of the know. girls, she she was going back in to use the restaurant or to use the restroom. And one of the guys that she doesn't even like was taking the tip away. Like they had put a cash tip for the waiter waiter. Wow. And he was taking the cash tip. Jeez, man. That's actually f so <laughs> fucked up. So fucked no, up. No, that's actually f Am I the asshole? No. Yes, nah, nah, no. No, that's insane. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, I'm dying to know what happens. Yeah, this probably like is a fight. Weird. You know? So weird. Okay, so they said edit. Wow, thanks for all the awards. Jeez, lol. So many comments that I can't keep up, but thank you to everyone who had something to say. Edit. Amy just called me. She saw this post and she yelled at me for bad mouthing her on the internet. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. Amy, hopefully you're reading all these comments and it's a wake up call for you. Wow. Someone commented, you should have totally flipped the switch instead, left your wallet at home, only brought your license so that she had to cover the whole bill. So what's ha what happened? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. They probably split it, maybe. I yeah. guess they gotta wash the dishes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if they don't have the money to <laughs> do something. Get in the back. <laughs> I've never had that problem. It's so well, embarrassing, no? Yeah. You never, like, from your whole life? Okay, when I was younger. But now I guess I don't really hang out with people. It's just family, and family is so easy. Amy's yeah. family. Oh yeah, Amy is her sister-in-law. Oh. <laughs> That's even worse. But they don't seem close. I don't I mean, know. Apparently she comes all the time. <laughs> That's so weird, yeah. Family is embarrassing, no? Easy, yeah. I don't know. Our family is very good about stuff like this. Yeah, because Asian family is like, no, I pay! Yeah. I pay! No, you sit down, I pay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different story. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Even like parties we have at our house, his dad is calling nonstop like, I'm gonna bring food. <laughs> He's like, dad, you don't have to. We already ordered a ton of food. He's like, I'm, I'm cooking, cooking food. food. And there's so yeah, much food. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ. He doesn't need to bring food. And then when he brings food. It's good. Yeah, it's so good. He can't just bring cheap food. It's like scallops, lamb, oh. lobsters, crabs, like prawns. I'm like, please, it's okay. <laughs> We had Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you had to do that. <laughs> Dude, the la last time you brought the seafood, oh. that was actually like... Yeah. Mm. Go, go eat with more Asians. It's a weird experience. <laughs> It'll change your life and you deserve it. You deserve some Asian friends who will pay for you because you suffered enough with Amy. <laughs> 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 Asian friends are so annoying. It's like you get so anxious. Even if you're ordering like boba tea, I start getting anxiety. Oh. And I know that I can't be the last in line because the last in line, they block you. Like my sister, even at Starbucks, she'd be blocking me. And I'm like, ma'am, it's a $3 coffee. Or you could do like yeah. rock, paper, scissor, lose or pay. Oh yeah, or the credit card game that they do. But oh. Different yes. though. Asians so like fun. I won, yeah. I pay, I my treat, my treat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, there was a um a paparazzi picture. I don't know if you can call it that, of Jenny from Blackpink and um Irene from Red Velvet. Mm -hmm. They're friends and they went out to eat and they were fighting over the bill. Well yeah, wow. it's yeah. it's a uh, it's an Asian thing. Yeah, but it's in the blood. Yeah, it's, it's in, in the, the blood. blood. Wow. It's in the blood. <laughs> we can't help ourselves. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get right to it. My 25 year old female, I'm a 25 year old female, boyfriend, 28 year old male, likes to be called daddy in bed while we're being intimate. <laughs> 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 uh, what do you think? I think it's great. What do you tell her to call you? <laughs> call me Mr. Mango Butts. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Butts. Mr. Butts. Butts. I've obliged this request, but it's starting to creep me out, and I've decided I don't want to do it anymore. He is <laughs> <laughs> he is not happy with this, and insists it has nothing to do with the connotation of the word. He just simply enjoys hearing me say it. Since he wasn't <laughs> since he wasn't budging on the issue. He wasn't what? He wasn't budging on the issue. Uh-huh. I told him I'd like for him to call me grandma in bed. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not the it's not the connotation of the word. I just simply like hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's good. He didn't that's, like that's it. even kinkier. <laughs> I like it. He didn't like it. Oh, he, he didn't like he it. He said it was giving him visuals that he would prefer oh. not. Oh. What? But it's like okay, join the fucking club. Anyway, the last time he tried to initiate intimacy with me, I started to refer to myself as grandma <laughs> in the third person. Like you like when grandma does that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> grandma would picture in your mind like ew and he, he flew off the handle said i ruined the mood made him feel gross and i was being ridiculous i think i proved my point but he thinks i'm being an asshole so am i the asshole what's up wait 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 what what okay but she on. basically did what he did yeah and now he's pissed and he says she's an asshole so is she an so Uno reversed. Yeah, she yeah. Uno reversed on him. So, I don't think she's an asshole. I don't think she's an asshole. If she's an asshole, then he's an asshole. Yeah, and they're both right. assholes. They're both assholes. Yeah, or they're both. But well, he's he an flew asshole. away, which yeah. is... 
He yeah. flew away like a bird, honey. Yeah, but that stuff isn't that serious, you know? Yeah. 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 Why does he like um, calling her grandma? Wait, what? <laughs> I think it's funny. Yeah. Call me grandma. <laughs> um, a comment says, if he keeps demanding you call him daddy, you can ramp it up a notch. Be like, oh, you like grandma's cookies, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Oh my, how you've grown. Oh! <laughs> Grandma's so proud of you. Wow. Wow. And he's shrunk again. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that one. That was so good. <laughs> like, I am going to use this mentality and logic from now on because that was literal pure joy. We should, like, explore more. Yeah. Yeah, Grandpa. Grandpa's okay. Yeah, Uncle. Oh, yeah? Stepdad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Stepbro. Oh! <laughs> Yes, yeah, step grandmama. Oh. Keep going, Mango. A uh, what? <laughs> Sit, Mango. <laughs> oh. Sit on my lap, Mango. Ew. <laughs> and then Mango sits down. <laughs> like, I have really big visuals. Visuals. So like, if that happens, yeah. I first word like it pops in my head. Mm, what if we get real specific with it? Oh yeah, kun imo. Oh, <laughs> oh kun imo would be like it's right like there. Your mom's older sister, the oldest one. Like it's really specific. And then your dad's older sister is a kun gomo. Like it's all really like. What if you just get so fucking oh specific God. with it? Like great great grandma. Oh my God. <laughs> Call me your great 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 grandma. Yo. Look at your great big old thing. Dude, my my my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, listen, say, listen. You can't say that, then. Oh, once you friendly. say that, though, it's like it's non-existent. We don't even talk about anything inappropriate in oh. our videos. Well, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My family does a gift exchange drawing every year for Christmas. We all reach into a bowl and pull out a name on a slip of paper. That is the person for whom we are to buy a gift for the big Christmas get together. I honestly hate this ritual as it's a bundle of stress to find something for someone you barely know, but we do it because the family always has done it. In 2019, I drew the 60 year old husband of my great aunt. I knew he and my great aunt were very well off and really neither wanted nor needed anything. I knew also that the budget we had for gifts of $50 max was not going to get him anything within his or her taste levels. Since he did a lot of driving for his work, I thought I found a rather expensive set of tools to keep in his car trunk should he need them. He opened them during Christmas, seemed appreciative and thanked me. This past Christmas, I saw my gift from, was from my great aunt. His wife, the one that she yeah. gave gifts to. When I opened it, I immediately recognized the tool set I had given him three years ago. What? Even the tape that I had put on part of a torn label was there. That's betrayal. I paused, yeah, broke into a big smile, and excitedly exclaimed that this was incredible as when I bought her husband a set three years ago, I wanted to get a set for myself as well, but the store had told me the set was discontinued and no longer available. Damn. I gush that she must have gone through a lot of trouble to find just one just like it. Like I had given him three years ago. Yes, I mentioned giving it to him three years ago many <laughs> times. I then made a big show of running over, hugging her and saying thank you. He and she just had odd smiles frozen on their faces. You see, my great aunt has a reputation whispered behind her back of being incredibly cheap and re-gifting most of what she receives. All the relatives had just witnessed me make a big production out of this one instance. My mom later took me aside and chastised me for what I did because my great aunt was visibly embarrassed and had left very soon after the gift exchange. I just looked at her and innocently asked what was wrong by thanking her for a gift that I really wanted. So am I the asshole? Nope. She's yeah. saying that they're very well off, right? Wait, you think they gave it back to her yeah. on purpose? Yeah. Then that's not even being cheap. That's like rude. Then it? Wasn't it originally hers? Yeah, she gave it to them. But even if it's just cheap, it's rude to give it back to the person you gave it to. Yeah, that's why all I'm saying is like, are they purposefully doing that? Mm. They're trying to make a point or something. I don't know. Like that sounds really bizarre. No, does that not make sense? You give me a gift and I was like, oh my God, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Dan Dan. And then three years later, I'm supposed to give you a gift. I can give you any other gift in my house, but mm -hmm. I chose the one that you gave yeah, me oh. and give it back to you. Oh. It's like I'm trying to stuck it in your face, like trying to make you yeah. make a point. Like, so here, why me? did you give me? I'm mm -hmm. almost trying to say is that like, why you gave me this gift? See how you like it when I give it to how you. How you like it. Now I'm giving mm -hmm. it back to you. So you gave the same gift that I gave you. Yeah. The exact gift. Imagine Not even like I went by... So you I, give me this for my birthday. That's exact Three years later, I give you the same thing. Oh, Three years later. Mm -hmm. That's that's. that's and it's like rude. it's not even being cheap though. It's, that's not it's, being cheap. That's it's being rude. That's like the you trying to. The intention is bad. Yeah, yeah the intention. To fuck them up. Uh huh. That's not even cheap. That's like. 
What is that? Yeah. I don't get that. Like, th th do they have beef? <laughs> you know. I did have a regifting horror that story. Is jail's asshole. You have a regifting horror story? Yeah. Hmm? Someone regifted something to you? Mm. It was like a really mean group of friends. Mm. And I made one of them like a gift basket and I spent so long putting together everything that I thought that she would like. Like literally everything that I thought she would like. And I was so specific with it. I even remember I included like a camel back because those were in before like the Stanley tumblers were in, like the water bottles. And I, like this was when I was young. So I didn't have a lot of money, you know, but I, I tried to put in as much as I could. I literally spent like my whole- Piggy bank? <laughs> I was gonna say all hours, but that sounds so privileged. Okay. <laughs> but like, I really went out of my way. What is this, like Christmas? No, it's like a thank you gift. And I guess she didn't really do anything much for me, but I just have like a, I was a really soft hearty back then and like you could even just look at me and say hi and I would get you a thank you gift because I'm like thank you for just acknowledging my presence I love you so I got her this what? gift and she was being nice about it and um, she was like mentioning one of the things in the gift like oh I really liked this and oh and that was really cute and I was like oh my god thank you like I put in so much thought and her boyfriend goes oh didn't you re-gift that? <laughs> Literally in front of me. And I just remember the look that she was giving him like, shut up. So he's the asshole. Yeah, yeah, she's not the asshole. I don't mind if you re-gift it because I'd rather it be put to use. You know, if I give you something that you're genuinely not gonna use and you can't exchange or return it, I'd rather you re-gift it, yeah, right? Yeah, if you yeah. think someone else is gonna use it better than you. Yeah. But it's wow. just the fact that like, you should never let that person know that you re-gifted it. Wow, what and, a Yeah, and he said it literally trying to get a reaction out of me. Mm. I remember I cried after that. Because yeah, it wasn't even the feeling of getting it regifted. It was like the feeling of like, oh, they definitely feel some type of way about me behind my back. So yeah, I don't know. That great aunt is weird. Like if she was not doing well and they're in her 60s, I totally understand regifting. And maybe she's old and she did, really had nothing else to regift. Yeah. Then I'd be like, oh, it's okay. Like it's fine, right? Yeah. It's not like I needed a present. But the fact that they're really well off and they're too yeah. old to be doing that. And I feel like this this is definitely not the first time they've done these yes. type of things. So the OP doing this to them is yeah. almost like I'm finally sticking mm -hmm. up to you and, and, and voicing my opinion in front of everyone. I don't know why it's her like, mom got mad at her. I mean, come on, your mom would be mad too. No, it's just you don't mm -hmm. want to sound like, you know, star basically. He, she could have just said thank you and then it could have been ending. Mm -hmm. so if I had the balls, mm. I would do what OP did. I just don't have the balls. Yeah, but you would take it, thank you, and then and now you will cry it. about yeah. it. You're That's like, what I'm oh saying. God, I agree with what that? OP did, but I could never do it. Yeah. I wish I could. If I could, I would do what she did. That's but, just so messed but up. You know, but, but knowing the fact that it's regifted, you know, even if you don't say anything, it's like, you, you know, it's like... Yeah, the fact that they were so obvious too. So it's, it's wow. like ultimate I hope you guys enjoyed today's whole video. <laughs> Does it itch yet? Does your butthole itch? Because you know what they say. Oh, your man. butthole itches. That means they're talking about uh, you. Mine's kind of starting to itch. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed oh. today's video. Make sure to check out ExpressVPN. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.